Welcome to my Cisco Scaling Network lab review. Here we're looking at lab 3223, which is troubleshooting ether channel. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's look for access point uh, ports. So let's go ahead and examine the switches. When the physical ports are assigned an ether channel port, they behave as one single unit. So we cannot mix and match them. So the big thing there is Normally, what I normally do is show IP and brief. And you can see if they're up, if they're down, if they're assigned to groups or anything, and they're not. Show IP and brief. Okay, so it looks like all of them are not configured. Show IP and brief. All right, so they're all showing not configured, all showing up. Show IP and brief. All right, showing VLAN one is administratively down as well. So step one complete. Step two. Verify that all physical ports in the topology are set to trunk. Correct any that are in the appropriate access mode. So all of them are showing, like these guys are showing up, but not showing any assignments. So let's do a show run. All right, so mode active, mode active, mode active. Oh, here we have a mode access, mode access. So 22, oh, 21, 22, 23, 24, and the two gigabit are all showing access. So let's go ahead and fix that. Get into our global configuration mode. Int range FA. 0 slash 21 through 24, comma, gig 0, 1 through 2. Switch port mode trunk. They should power off and power back on in a second. All right. So they're still now in an A burning state. Let's double check that our ether channels are functioning. Do show ether channel summary. So we're showing 23, 24, 21, 22, gig one, gig two, they're all in the appropriate um, groups. So that's good. One last thing, let's do another show run. So we set the them to trunk now. We set the appropriate channel groups, but are the channel groups trunks? And here it does not look like we're showing inter individual interfaces for our, all right, so interface port channel two, port channel three, they're showing trunk, but six is not showing it. And fig T and interface port, Channel six, switch port mode trunk. So I think that should be good for switch two. Let's hop over to switch one. Show if sum. So they're in the correct ports. Show run. That way we can see if there is the appropriate Channels one, six, and five. 
one is not showing as being in trunk mode. So let's go to our global configuration mode. Interface port channel one, switch port mode trunk. And that should be good. Give it a let it, let it converge. We finished one, we finished step two. Moving on to part two, examining the port. All right, so when I do this, what I'm looking at is I normally look for show you through channel summary, make sure that the appropriate protocol is being used and the appropriate interface is being used. And then I look to see uh, a show run so I can see the interfaces. All right, so examine the port channel summaries. Do show ether channel summary. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. Three ports or three interfaces with two ports in each interface, exactly like I want. Let's do that for all of them. To show if sum three and each of the protocols and two ports per link, that's right. Show either channel summary, same thing, three ports, two ports per group, okay. Show ether channel summary. Here we're, oh. Let's expand this out a little bit. We're showing that we have two interfaces in the wrong group. So let's go ahead and fix that. Under your terminal, int range. FA zero slash twenty one through twenty two channel group five mode active. So we should be able to exit, exit, and do our summary again, and we should see our new. Two interfaces per port group, and they are using the appropriate protocol. All right. So again, we've been looking at the interfaces. Let's do that one more time. Summaries, LACP is what we're using. Switch two, again, LACP is what we're using. Switch four. LACP is what we're using, so that's good. Switch three. Oh, here it's using the PAGP, not the LACP that everyone else is using. So what we're gonna have to do is configure terminal, int range, gig zero one through two, no channel group, Then we need to actually go back oh if I sell it right channel channel group one mode active. We basically need to take it off P or P A G P and we need to put it L A C P. So we did it for the first one. So we need to go back and do it for the rest of them. Int range F0 21 through 23, no channel group. Channel group one mode. Oh, this one is six mode active 
interface range, FA 023 through 24, no channel group. Channel group for mode active. So let's go ahead and go all the way back out. Let's redo our show ether channel. And you'll notice that it's still showing PAGP. And according to our instructor guide, this is all you need to do. But obviously, this is incorrect. Interface range, we want fa 0 slash 21 through 24 comma gig 0 slash 1 through 2 switch port mode trunk that's one thing so what we can also do is show Ether channel summary. So it is still showing that it will be using the PHP protocol. All right, so one thing I want to do is do the commands one more time. Do show ether channel summary. Okay, it did not like that whatsoever. <laughs> all right, I'm actually going to get rid of all of my channel groups. I'm going to do one more interface range. Range gig one through two. No channel group. All right, let's do a show run. But our port channel is still shown there. All right, so if that's the case. Our ports are still showing there, so let's go ahead and let's get our global configuration mode. Let's do a no interface port channel one, port channel four, and six. Let's do a show run. Notice our port channel interfaces are no longer there. Get back to our global configuration mode. And let's go ahead and redo our port channel groups. We've already got rid of the port channel groups. So we should just be able to do These guys right here, interface range, channel group, interface range, channel group. And then the last one, that's what I'm gonna paste. And if everything worked out well, show either channel, summary, there we go. Now they're all showing the appropriate protocol. It is really weird because I've had this happen uh, only in packet tracer on physical switches. The no channel group got rid of the interface as well. Uh, but I, I'm going to assume it also depends on your appropriate iOS. And give this a few minutes and they should come back online because they do have to negotiate. If they don't come online, you can always turn them back on.
config team interface port channel one no shut port channel four no shut port channel six no shut and they're all turned on now give it a few minutes and they should converge and this guy is no longer useful get that out of the way and yeah just let it give it some time and this these should converge all right so it took a minute but they converged and i accidentally clicked on the activity assessment and it took me to the screen so this guy should be done if you have any questions please let me know thank you